the person who certainly knows a lot about what's in this explosive new book about the Trump White House is Sean Spicer, the president's first press secretary who was let go just a couple months ago. Well, he just wrapped an interview with Essie Cup for her uh, show on our sister network, HLN, and Essie Cup is with me now. What did he say? Oh, I'm just going to tell you everything. Tell me everything. No, I'm not. Um, you're going to have to tune in and watch. <laughs> But look, it was um, it was revealing. I had to I had to ask him tough questions. Um, I wasn't just going to have him on to play softball for for an hour. So I did. I asked him some tough questions. I thought he gave me some pretty real answers. Um, in the rest of the show, we talked about the book. We talked about those allegations. We talked about Steve Bannon and the rift now with Donald Trump. He had a lot to say about that. And then we talked generally about the future of the Republican Party, the future of the Democratic Party. Um, we had some fun talking about reality television and sort of living in a reality television era presidency. Uh, I thought he was fairly candid with me um, and, and, and also fairly insightful about what's going on uh, today. Mm -hmm. he's, he's been around. He's seen a lot. And so uh, it was important to me not just to ask him about those days in the White House, but what he thinks about everything that's going on right now. Well, let's take a listen to a clip. Here we go. Sean Spicer and Essie. Do you think you maintained your credibility? There were times uh, where I screwed up. There's no question about it. Give I've me said this one. Before. I, uh, I mean, the inauguration, you brought it up. I, I would say that's first and foremost. There was a, an event where I was trying to uh, talk about how evil Assad was. Right. And, and I screwed that up royally. You brought up Hitler, right. Thank you for reminding me. Mm -hmm. um, but there's, those are days when I went back and, look, I'm a very self-critical person. Yeah. And, and I sat back and said, you know, I, that's, it's not my credibility. I honestly went out every day to do the best job I could for the president of the United States who gave me an unbelievable honor and to basically do the best job I could for the American people because that's ultimately who you serve. And so when I screwed up, yeah, it felt really bad mm -hmm. because you realizing that – you're, you're tarnishing your personal reputation, your family's reputation, your friends who like you and support you, you, you know, some of your colleagues, and, and ultimately, again, this administration and the American people who I wanted to do my best job, yeah. my best for every single day.